Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating. And with this, usually it's good for travel trips and um, yeah, things related to that. And um, even if you are not making it for any travel related stuff, I believe it's still good to be able to know how to do something like this inside of Canva. If you are interested in this, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started, I still want to stress on the fact that you need Canva Pro now. And um, if you are interested in even trying Canva Pro for 30 days, which is one month, you can just find the link in the description box below. And um, I believe that, you know, to be serious in Canva, you need Canva Pro because of the possibilities that comes with it. Okay, so take the time to upgrade. And um, once you use the link I have down there, it's also a way of supporting the channel because you know i aim at providing you with videos every single week at least two videos every single week so that's one way you can support me and yeah let's dive straight into canva and start designing what we have to do today because already look i'm starving it's 12 1 pm and i haven't even had breakfast yeah <laughs> okay so this is the design we are going to be recreating and you can see how it's looking it looks complex in a way but honestly it's very simple create a new design okay and then you have a blank canvas which is white but in this case um we are going to change it to yellow like i've done already okay then come into photos in photos search for um jungle okay so when you search for jungle you'll find so many interesting images you can choose anyone at all you want like this I click replace background so you can see how it's looking right now then the next thing we're going to do is to press R on our keyboard if your arrow is missing then come to elements in element you would find line and shapes just choose the square over here then you can just resize okay so you can resize then with the color I used let me just pick the color it was an orange okay so you can see F19 509 so we come here we change the color to the same thing f19509 okay so this is how it looks click on transparency and reduce the transparency now on my instagram i was just um i posted on my story that it would be very nice if canva can come with blending modes because in this case instead of reducing transparency we have several blending modes like um oh, uh my favorite was always I forgotten i forgotten but coming up with blending mode will really help because it would also make certain designs possible in canva you understand there are certain designs i really want to make and them um, you know it will need blending modes because transparency isn't just enough okay so uh, this is just me nagging sort of that's fine okay so back into the design and um you know we can just reduce it slightly it shouldn't be too much okay so 87 or 80 would be no or 8 or 90 would be okay okay now we have this and then um, what next do we have to do okay so there's this bus image i uploaded to my canva and i found it on clip arts so you can just check cliparts.com okay and just search for bus you see so many interesting buses you can see i downloaded two buses so i'll bring the blue one in okay then what we are going to do next okay we send it up here okay so come into element and search for paper tear okay or paper tear and i know for some time now most of the designs i do get to have this paper tear in it okay so come to graphics so that we can see more interesting ones and uh, maybe let's stick to the first one we have over here okay then we increase the size bring it here and just send it behind the bar so click on position and click backward okay and i'll drop it down a little bit i want to increase the size of my bus a little bit okay yeah this is fine so this is looking very interesting now the next thing we are going to do is to press arrow on our keyboard okay and we are going to create some photo frames you understand so something nice and cute okay so something like this is fine come to colors and change the color to white okay then come to okay we are already in elements okay then scroll down 
you see um, grade. I was about to say frames. <laughs> you see um, grade. So change, you know, select the first one, then resize this, okay? And before you even finish, okay, I wanted you to just bring it to front so that it doesn't go behind the um, the shape, okay? Then we increase. I'm just zooming in so that I can resize it properly okay so yeah this is how it's looking which is cool okay so click away select what's behind select what's in front and with this the only thing is you can't group these two i don't know why maybe if they forgot to code you know to add the codes <laughs> yeah so you can see what we have over here and let me just reduce the size a little bit and okay it's centered okay so then come into photos okay and in photos you can search for travel just search for travel you'd find so many interesting images just drag them okay then i'll create several copies but before i even create several copies there's one more thing i want to add to make this oh what am i doing okay so select what's behind first then press and hold shift and select the frame so that you can move the two of them together okay there's one more thing i want to add okay so if you come you can see that they have some cute shadows behind so with this i also got it from um clip arts okay so you can go to clipart.com search for shadows or you can find all of this in the description box below there's a google drive link over there that can help you get to this okay i have all of them uploaded in there and if you are facing challenges with downloading the elements is because the reason is maybe i don't know how this whole thing works but the first time i made it accessible for everyone someone deliberately went in there and deleted everything you understand so i had to change some of the settings in them i think that's what may be challenging a little bit but just try you should be able to download it okay all right so we increase the size okay and at this point we just use our arrow keys then we send it behind the frame so now we have this shadow over here and i'll click the white um shape okay then i group the two okay so that it's easier for me to move them around then i click on my photo frame and move everything very nice so i make another copy so i can just drag and drop and make another copy again and with this i would also search another photo so let's see okay this one looks good okay so now we select what's behind and what's in front and now you know rotate it a little bit what's behind what's in front uh rotate this one also a little bit then with this one i'll just move it down here and this i'll move it to the top okay so you can just arrange them any how you want all right then select everything okay and reduce the size in fact let me see what i did okay i sent it behind the bus okay so i would bring it here i click on the bus and bring the bus to the front okay so that this is what we have okay so i think we have to um send it to the top a little bit okay so this is what we have which is looking very nice okay so maybe i'll just adjust no let me just leave it this way i don't know this is just a tutorial i don't mind all the things i'm trying to <laughs> to do so yeah all right so now that we have all of this the next thing we are going to do look i think i'm still not interested i think i'm still not um satisfied with what i have done right here so let me just speed up the whole process of me trying to arrange everything so that i do not get to waste your time okay So now we have you know this very nice looking design so i select all i can drop it down a little bit so that we can have more space at the top okay so okay we can see there are two we have too much space over here so we can just basically select everything and drop it down a bit okay okay i think this is fine then we add our title at the top over here so we have summer okay then let me select this one duplicate and paste it over here 
so you've seen the idea okay so the first thing i did was um i'll just come to effect and i'll just choose the normal one okay then i change the color to the brown i used all right then okay so i forgot i didn't mention the name of this so the name of this font is black bones okay so just search for black bones and you should find this then we duplicate this place it right on top come to effect change to hollow then after you do that click on the color change it to white so you can see what we have here come back to effect in hollow reduce the thickness okay to the lowest so that you can have something like this then we position it down here so we have this one also here so we have summer trip i want to say summer trip to ellis jungle so you can see what i did over here let me just duplicate it and paste it over here so summer trip to ellis jungle so i'll just show you what i did okay so i just came into element and in element i searched for chat okay you see so many chat bubbles okay so i i selected this one and i just placed the two on top then um at this point i believe it's just a matter of we just copying everything we have over here okay and we come down and we paste it here oh just the two <laughs> okay so i think i need to select it one by one okay just i'm doing all of this to save you some time because i think with this at this point if you watch a lot of my tutorials then having working with text shouldn't be difficult for you this is what i believe but if you want a dedicated video on the um, font just let me know and i'll create that also for you okay all right so you can see how i have it over here looking very beautiful then um one more thing i want to add or one more thing i added is this beautiful shadow i have over here so you can still an element just search for gradient okay to white and you see a lot of um gradient to white you can see this is an example there are so many um samples we have over here so just search just take your time to search and you find interesting ones so once you do that we would have to um we would have to send it behind the paper tear okay so you can just have it selected click on position then keep clicking on backward okay so you have it behind the paper tear okay so okay i think it's gone okay so this is it now so you can see so that it looks like a gradient also behind so this is what we have over here and yes you know this is very simple we just needed some cool and easy tips and tricks to be able to fulfill this design and if you are also looking to try canva pro for 30 days for free you can also use the same link to you know to do that i would want to recommend the tutorial to you and the tutorial you see on my screen right now is another tutorial i would love for you to try out because i believe this can also help improve on working with fonts working with um, shapes and all of those things okay so check it out and um yeah the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity like share subscribe and i will see you in my next video